Welcome back to The Lawyer You Know, and today we're coming with another update in The Housewife and The Hustler. Tom Girardi has been disbarred. A federal court in California, in the Central District of California, came down with a decision that he is permanently disbarred. What does that mean? Well, it means that he cannot practice law in the Central District of California in any of their federal courts there, okay? But what does it not mean? It doesn't mean that he's disbarred from every state court in California, and it doesn't even necessarily mean that in other districts in federal court that he's disbarred, okay? So it's just one court saying in this court, he is disbarred, he cannot practice here anymore, at least according to the order that I read. There are a couple of interesting facts in this order and surrounding these circumstances. First, how does it affect his victims and potential criminal prosecution? Well, this order and this disbarment can be used against him. It can be a piece of evidence. It can be a piece of the investigation for the criminal aspect. It can be something his victims use against him. Say, see, this court has found that he is not even eligible to practice law anymore. And all of this is stemming from what he did to us. So if it were, which it's probably not, if it were to go in front of a jury, they would be able to show this piece of paper to a jury and say, look, he is permanently disbarred, cannot practice here anymore. How would that affect you as a juror? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit that reminder bell. If you already subscribe, if you don't subscribe, make sure you subscribe and then hit that bell because August 25th, we're doing something a little different, okay? For the first time on this channel, we are gonna break down an actual case we're actively handling, okay? We gotta be careful around it. We can only give certain information, not others, but we're gonna give a lot of behind the scenes information, a lot of behind the scenes documentation, and talk about things you may not know about this case, okay? Back in January, everybody was following it. Half the country feels one way, half the country feels the other. But we're actually actively involved in this case and we're somewhere in the middle there trying to do what's right, trying to do what's just, trying to figure out what the law says about the actions of the people involved, okay? So for the first time, we're actually gonna talk about this kind of case. We're gonna do a longer form video. It's a little different. It's a little vloggy, a little documentary type, but also just some sitting and talking on the couch with me and Big George. We are handling the case together. So we wanna know what you think about it. You are actually our potential jurors because we are the lawyers on this case. Get in the comments and let me know what you think. Let me know if any of your opinions have changed over the last eight months. If this video affects any of your opinions, let us know. Be as respectful as you can, but I realize a lot of people are gonna be angry about this subject matter and that's okay. We wanna know how you feel. We wanna know what you think so we can interact together in this community about what's going on and how the law applies and how it should affect different people that may have performed different actions with different results, okay? So make sure you catch that video August 25th. Make sure you subscribe and hit that reminder bell, but let's get to today's video. What I think is really cool about this story and it's kind of a funny one-off is Emily Baker, who I guess is a YouTube lawyer, and I don't mean any offense by calling her a YouTube lawyer, I just mean she's got a ton of followers in a huge community on YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you guys watch her videos as well. She was credited with a lot of the articles of breaking this news, breaking the news that Tom Girardi is disbarred. I saw it on her Instagram as well over the weekend that he was disbarred and she broke it, which is really cool that lawyers that are coming on YouTube are now breaking news about other lawyers, which is pretty cool. But it's always a sad situation when somebody is disbarred because it means they did something unethical or illegal, which is the case it seems for Tom Girardi. Let's get into the nitty gritty of exactly what happened and why he was disbarred and how it happened. And the way to do that is we're gonna show you the actual order uh, of his disbarment. So again, this is in the United States District Court, Central District of California, in the disciplinary matter of Thomas V. Girardi, okay? And as you can see on the right side, order of disbarment. On May 27, 2021, the court issued an order to show cause why the attorney named above should not be disbarred from the bar of this court. Okay, so that's the first thing we're gonna break down. So the court issued an order to show cause. What's an order to show cause? Kind of makes sense with the name. You have to come in and show why something should or should not happen. It's not only in the disbarment realm, okay? This happens in our cases all the time, civil and criminal. If something bad happens, like a witness doesn't show up for a depot, or the lawyer refuses to produce discovery, or the lawyer doesn't show up for a hearing, or the defendant in a criminal case doesn't show up for a pretrial. The judge can enter in order to show cause, 
Meaning, what is the reason that you did this, that you missed this, that you refused to show up? What is the reason? Come, order to show cause, you better bring a good reason, or else punishments can be brought down in the form of sanctions, you can be held in contempt of court, you can be thrown in jail, or they can take your license if you are a lawyer. So, they gave Tom Girardi an opportunity to show the cause as to why he should not be disbarred, okay? Now's your chance, Girardi, show up and tell us, the court, why you shouldn't be disbarred. That's what an order to show cause is. That's what they did in May of 2021. They gave him the opportunity, which is really good and important, right? As much evidence as it seems there is against this guy, as much scummy stuff as it seems like he's done, the court stayed true to its system, stayed true to our national laws and our rights as people to provide a defense, and not just because somebody said something or it seems overwhelming, you still get an opportunity to come and make your argument on your behalf or have a lawyer make it on your behalf. That is a right Tom Girardi had in this case and the court protected it. I'm telling you right now, the lawyers in California, the judicial system in California, the judges in California, the bar in California is not happy with how this played out. They're all getting a lot of backlash. They're all having people point the finger saying, were you in on it? Did you know? How did you not know about this? How did you not discipline him sooner? But even with those finger pointing and those accusations, they still stuck true to what was fair in the system. And they allowed him the opportunity to come show cause as to why he should not be disbarred. Let's continue on reading in the order. Pursuant to the local rule, as a result of his or her disbarment by the Supreme Court of California, resignation from the state bar with charges pending or enrollment as an involuntary inactive member of the state bar with cases pending in this court. A written response to the order to show cause was due in 30 days. So Tom Girardi had 30 days to provide a written response to the, to the order to show cause. So 30 days from the date that the order was issued. The court has received no response that contests the imposition of discipline. He didn't even provide a response. He didn't even provide an argument. He didn't provide a written response, an oral response. He didn't set a hearing, which he could have done to make arguments in front of the court. He did nothing, basically. And if you do nothing, it means I don't have an argument. Court, you do what you got to do. And that's what they did. Next paragraph. It is therefore ordered that the attorney named above is hereby disbarred from the practice of law in this court pursuant to the local rule. So in the Central District of California, in those federal courts there, he is disbarred. As provided by the local rule, he's disbarred and will only be reinstated to the bar of this court upon proof of his or her reinstatement as an attorney. That means he's out until further notice and until he gets reinstated. And let's be honest, with a conservatorship, with his age, with the track that this is going, he's probably never going to be reinstated. But what's really important is the court is making decisions for this court. They say this court because there's lots of other courts he could be uh, licensed to practice in, in other states, in other jurisdictions, in other federal courts even, and they can only disbar him over which they have jurisdiction, okay? Now, the Supreme Court of California can disbar him from the entire state, which is likely going to happen because it seems like he's not putting up a fight there either, which is interesting because this tracks exactly how he acted with the conservatorship. It seemed like publicly he was going to fight it. He was gonna stand up and tell his side of the story but then he did nothing to actually fight against the conservatorship. And he did nothing to actually legally in court fight against this disbarment. And there can be lots of reasons for it, but I wanna hear what you think the reason is in the comments below. Do you think it's money? Do you think it's the show? Do you think it's his wife? Do you think he's trying to hide something? Or do you think he's just trying to peacefully live out the rest of his life without any more legal battles? Let me know what you think in the comments, or you may have a different opinion as to why he's letting it play out this way. We're going to continue to follow this. If more disbarments come down, hopefully Emily Baker is the one that breaks it because that's cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Please like this video and subscribe to our page. But thanks for being with us this time. Thanks for watching this episode of The Lawyer You Know. If you like this content, please share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to our page and like our videos. If you want some interaction, get in the comments and we'll be sure to get back to you. If you want to know any more information about our firm or this page, you can find out in the description or visit tragoslaw.com. We post multiple times throughout the week, so make sure you hit that bell so you can get the notification and not miss out on the next episode.